Hi, hello there, lovely one. It's me, Helen the Great, and this is something that I find most grade 11s get confused with. Effective versus nominal interest rate. This is a question I recently gave to my grade 11s in a paper 1 exam. It was part of question 2, which means it's still meant to be pretty easy. You're meant to get full marks for it. Let's take a look at it. What is the effective interest rate? Correct to one decimal place. If an investment receives 15% per annum compounded monthly. Now the whole thing about effective interest rate and nominal interest rate is that we need to figure out what it would be if it was compounded annually. So we're changing it from compounded monthly to what it would be if it were compounded annually. Mm, just writing this down so that it hopefully makes a little more space. I'm trying to figure out if there are two ends in annually, but we'll just work with it. I think that's right. So how do we change 15% compounded monthly to something compounded annually? Well, let's talk a little bit about what it would look like. Firstly, if we're compounding monthly, we're taking that 15% and we're dividing it by 12, aren't we? But then we're also raising it to the power of 12 because there will be 12 payments. But if we want to try and figure out what it would be if we were compounding annually, then we would have it equals to an interest rate that's divided by 1 because it's compounded annually to the power of 1. And now it's just a matter of solving for that i. That's pretty easy when we start to think about it like that. So we have 1 plus 0, 0,15 over 12 to the power of 12 and it's equals to 1 plus i take the 1 over to the other side and we just use our calculator. Remember calculators are our friends. You bought one you might as well make use of it. Let's type it into the calculator, open the brackets 1 plus and it's going to be 0 comma 1 5 over 12 to the power of 12 and then minus 1. So the interest rate, the effective interest rate is going to be 0, 0,16075. Let's see if I can remember it now. So 0, 0,16075 and it goes on for a while. The reason why I've written it like that is because they want the interest rate, so I'm going to change it to be a rate percentage. But now they also want to one decimal place. So let's let's just put the percentage sign there. Let's round it off to one decimal place where it becomes 16,1%. So really with a question like this, I want you to think logically. We're changing something that's being divided by 12 and to the power of 12 to something that needs to be divided by 1 and to the power of 1. So we have the compound interest formula happening over here and the compound interest formula happening over here, but the difference is what it's being divided by and the power it's being raised by. This is the compounded annually and this is the compounded monthly and we're changing between the two. We're converting it. Well, lovely one, this would be worth three marks. One mark for that side, one mark for this side, and finally one mark for the answer. If you didn't round off correctly, you would lose a mark over there. And it's heartbreaking to take away a mark for rounding off. So please make sure that you have read the instructions, correct to one decimal place, and also you practiced rounding off enough so that you can get it right. Well, lovely one, that's it for now. Much love.